waste management. The buzzword in agriculture has gained significance in recent years due to its pivotal role played in enhancing crop production and productivity besides ecological concerns. In rural areas, agriculture and animal husbandry activities generate large quantity of organic wastes and it is estimated that more than 450 million tons of organic waste is generated annually in India. They are in the form of liquids, slurries and solids. In India, it is estimated that 173 million tons of cattle manure, 12 million tons of sheep and goat manure and 10 million tons of poultry manure are produced annually. Further, several million kiloliters of dairy and piggery effluent is obtained from dairy and pig farms respectively. A single healthy cow produces 4,000 to 5,000 kgs of dung and 3,000 to 4,000 liters of urine annually. Likewise, each fully grown pig voids 500 to 600 kgs of dung in a year. The droppings of sheep and goat is estimated at 166 kgs per animal per year. The goat excreta contains 60% of organic carbon, 2.7% nitrogen, 1.78% phosphorus, 2.88% potassium and other vital nutrients which serve as an excellent organic fertilizer for crops. Each layer or desi chicken produces 30 to 40 grams of manure per day accounting for 10.8 kgs per bird per year which can be used as a fertilizer for agricultural crops. The cattle and pig dung act as excellent fertilizer for fish ponds. The agricultural field wastes namely paddy straw, sorghum straw, paddy husk, agro-industrial wastes like sugarcane trash, groundnut shells, coconut husk, vegetable and fruit peels and animal wastes namely dung, urine, dead animals and birds, bedding materials, wasted feed are referred to as organic wastes. The agricultural waste generated from paddy and horticultural crops may be utilized for feeding sheep and goats and also utilized for vermicompost production. These organic wastes contain organic carbon and other nutrients in appreciable amounts which have fertilizer value when applied on the land and used by crops. Four efficient ways that are adopted to convert agricultural and animal waste into useful products are drying of agricultural produce, briquetting, biogas production and composting. The crop residues namely paddy straw, wheat straw, sorghum straw are sun dried and used as feed for livestock. The concept of bricketing is a traditional practice and the dung from livestock namely cattle, sheep and goats is converted into a solid form of energy and used for cooking or burning purpose. Further, dope sticks and other value-added products are produced from dung material. Biogas units of 2 meter cube may be established in the land area with input facility for loading dung material from cattle, pigs and poultry and an outlet for obtaining biogas may be set up 
for small scale biogas production and slurry obtained will be utilized for crop cultivation. The energy obtained from biogas may be utilized for lighting gas bulbs and for burning stoves. Composting is a method of conversion of organic residues of plant and animal origin into manure either aerobically or anaerobically. The compost made from farm waste like paddy straw, sugarcane trash, ground nut husk and dried plants is called farm compost. The different methods of composting are pit or trench composting, bin composting and vermicomposting. The process of composting organic wastes using earthworms is called vermicomposting. 1 kg of earthworms consume 1 kg of organic residues every day. The African earthworm, Eudrilis eugeniae, redworms, Icenia fetida, and composting worm, Peronyx excavatus are promising worms used for vermicompost production. Some of the common methods of vermicomposting are heaping above the ground, usage of silpolyene beds or tanks on the ground and usage of cement rings. Vermicomposts are produced in a span of 50 to 60 days and are rich in organic carbon which plays a key role in soil fertility. Wastes generated by the livestock are channeled directly into fish ponds for direct consumption by the fish or converted into microbial biomass. The microbial biomass comprising of bacteria, phytoplankton and zooplankton serves as natural food for the fish. The animal waste like urine are collected from sheds in tanks and treated with organic manure like panchakavya, amitta karaisal effective microbes etc. and diverted to fields for cultivating green fodder for the animals. Waste from the poultry industry includes a mixture of excreta, bedding material or litter material, waste feed, dead birds, broken eggs, offals, feathers and feed removed from poultry houses. The waste from poultry farms and poultry processing units pose a potential health hazard for humans. To overcome this, the poultry waste is converted into novel protein-rich product by few companies. The poultry waste collected are loaded in boilers and subjected to high pressure and temperature. The cooked meal is dried for 3 hours and sterilized and made safe. The poultry meal produced is a good source of protein, fat and minerals and is used in fish feed and pet food. The poultry litter has considerable energy and biomethanation of poultry litter results in methane-rich biogas production which can be used to run power generator and for domestic cooking. The agricultural and animal waste needs to be treated effectively by way of composting and recycling for efficient reuse so as to protect natural systems and resources. In addition, it minimizes pollution to air and water and promotes diversity, thereby tackling the latest phenomenon, the climate change.
Thank you.